All right, so before you go out and buy yourself an M2 MacBook Air 15 inch, I think you should watch this video because obviously I know the reviews are out now and um, a lot of influencers obviously are pushing the M2 MacBook Air. So I'm gonna tell you why I think you should wait or maybe even skip it. Now, before you jump out and go and buy this thing, what you should know is there's going to be an upgrade, uh, M3 MacBook Air early next year. When I say early, I mean about spring next year. So it really doesn't make sense to me to go out and get this version of the MacBook Air 15 inch. I know the 13 inch has been out for a while um, and now obviously there's this new 15 inch and it's gonna be a bit tempted to think this is gonna be the latest and greatest, but I think it really is worth waiting for the M3. Um, obviously M1 is powerful, M2 is powerful, M3 I guess is gonna be even more powerful, um, which is why I think it's good to wait for that, especially if Apple introduces any hardware improvements. So that means maybe potentially Face ID, um, uh, maybe extra ports, a better screen, uh, a brighter screen. Uh, um, you know, this potentially Apple might actually make some hardware improvements. I think it's worth waiting till next year, 2024, around springtime, and to see what Apple has to say. You know, because if you get this, you know, it'll cost you about $2,000. I think you could quickly have some buyer's remorse. So here's what you should do. If you can, wait. I know it's tough. If you've been waiting to upgrade for a long time, having to wait some more, might be tough. But I really, really, really think you should consider waiting. Next year is not that far away. You can struggle through what upgrades you have. I mean, and certainly if you have an M1, you should definitely wait. If you have an older Intel Mac, I know it's gonna be a bit tough, but I think try, try and wait. Now, if you really, really, really can't wait, what I would suggest, and let's say, for example, you do have an Intel Mac, genuinely, what I would suggest is getting a refurbished or used M1 MacBook Air. That way, um, you can actually get those for way under a $1,000. And if you get it right, if you buy the right one, when you want to sell it, say for example, you, you buy that one, you hold it until the new uh, M3 comes out, you could basically get your money back. You know, you, you could really could. If you get a good price on a used market, you get your money back. And if you're even lucky, you might even make, you could even make a small profit if you get the right price. I mean, honestly, that's what I would suggest if you really, really need one now. I really don't think you should buy the M2, um, the new one. It's gonna cost you probably about two grand for the one you want. And don't be wrong, this Mac laptop will last you a long time anyway, the M2. And I don't think you'll be particularly disappointed. In fact, I think you will, you'll probably be blown away by it. But you don't want that buyer's remorse of thinking, ah, oh, should have, should have waited, should have waited. You don't want that. So, so you can't wait, get an M1, uh, a used one, and then that can take you to next year when the M3 comes out. But you actually might be surprised by the performance of the M1 because the M1 is what I'm using to um, edit this video. It's my day-to-day -day, um, laptop, M1 MacBook Air, and it really has zero issues of anything. So for most of you, you might actually buy the M1 and think, Maybe I should hold on to this for a bit longer because, you know, for me, for example, I'm not going to upgrade this year. I'm not upgrading to M2. The M3 would have to be really, really amazing for me to consider upgrading. Um, I do like the idea of a 15-inch MacBook Air, but I need to see that in the Apple Store. So when I go to the Apple Store and I have a look at it, I'll kind of see if it's actually something that's worth getting. Um, or if it kind of takes the point away of having a MacBook Air if it's so big. Um, so that's something we're gonna have to check out. But yeah, as I said, if you can, give it some time, wait for the M3 that's coming out next year, and that will possibly be the one to get. It's just my opinion. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.